Alright. Well. Technically, this would be week four. But I didn't record the past two weeks, so this is technically week two. Anyways. Hey guys and gals, it's 3D Dante, and we're back with Mario Maker Saturday. Those who are wondering why there hasn't been Mario Maker Saturday up, well, video in the past two weeks. Well, life happened, and yeah, I needed to get a couple more things before I even get back to this. But anyway, so I'm back here with for Mario Maker 2, and yeah, um, from the last video that we. Up, well, I uploaded. Um, we didn't really get anything, and I said we would do network play, but I'm not gonna figure since there's a lot more levels I have. I have now. We're just we'll just do more of these levels. <laughs> it's like once again, um, I do want to do your guys' levels at some point, but and well, until I actually start getting some stuff, we're just gonna keep doing mine. And as you see right here, oh my God, here's improvement for last time. They they used to not be played anymore. They're being played all over the freaking place now. Uh, it's like, I luck, but anyways, um, we're gonna start things off with one of my, well, one of my regular levels right here, Red Coin Rush. Just like the last level, um, uh, well, oh, geez. Yes, level. Um, last time, we're gonna, jeez. <laughs> um, we're gonna go over, geez. Not gonna go over, jeez. Um, just like the last video, I will have the IDs for these levels. So if you want to try them out yourself, they'll be right in the, in the description. Um, though I will warn you, some levels might be gone after a little while. That was that was the case with Beast, Beast Wish Rush, Coins in the Lake. The, really, just those two levels, and maybe if... Actually, in Lava Rising Tower, I just now realized that one also. So... If you want to, so you're gonna want to try these out as quick as you can, or at least try to save them from from their downfall. Since that's kind of what happened with the other levels, is that they didn't really do that well. So I kind of took them down just to have more space to upload more levels. So those who aren't wondering why that's not there anymore, that's why it's kind of similar to the final trial right here, which this might be going down soon, which. Kinda saddens me since this was one of my semi-popular levels back in Mario Maker 1, and yes, I actually did go over it and remake some levels that I had from Mario Maker 1, this being one of them. Just so... Just, just really just because I didn't really have any other hard levels that I, that I can really upload. So I've kinda figured, well, might as well upload some of my Mario Maker 1 levels. I have I have uploaded seven of them so far. There's one more I'm thinking about bringing back, but I don't know how I'm gonna execute it since the amiibo costumes are not a thing in this game, which kind of ruins everything for that specific level. Since that specific level, it's not meant meant for like for a mushroom. So I don't know when I'm gonna be able to go over and actually kind of work on the level. But, anyways, um, now, this level is, I guess I should say, is kind of challenging. But there are some little secrets you can get. Which leads to other secrets and more secrets and more secrets. Kind of like a chain, starting out with the super cape right here. Since there are some things that you kind of need to get with, that you can, jeez. <laughs> that you can only get with the super cape right here. Since... There's a gap up here that you can't get to unless you have this thing. Because, and once you go down, you don't, you won't be able to get that. And I kind of screwed myself right there because, yeah. <laughs> um, you get, going up there, you get a Yoshi. Now, what you were supposed to do, that, geez, what you were supposed to do, uh, hit the hidden block, which has a super cape. So, yeah, you get it right after you get done with that. You and you gotta use Yoshi to go up here and go to this pipe. I unfortunately got rid of them, so I'm not getting that. <laughs> um, so instead, but geez. But if you go in there, you can get a checkpoint with with some power-ups. That's pretty much all that's there. Um, in the 
in the original Mario Maker 1, that's just a place where there's a bunch of coins and 1-ups. That's pretty much all that's there, though, for... And since 1-ups are kind of pointless in this game, um, just made it a checkpoint instead. So it's a... L and speaking of which, I made this level... Well, this level specifically a lot easier than the original, because the original level... It's a lot harder. Be because, like, there are certain things that makes the level pretty hard, and I lost my vision. Great. Oh, well, I wasn't really expecting to keep the damn thing anyways, but still. If. Anyways, um, I guess... Uh, I guess while we're going through this level right here, I guess something I should say. Um, not related to Mario Maker, but... Um, got a little, little bit more Splatoon 2. Um, this is, this is, uh, this is, this is, this is, this is, I don't know what I, oh my god, I don't even know what I'm trying to say anymore, but, <laughs> um, this, this is obviously recorded on a Saturday, and this is, this happens to be on the Saturday where the Splatfest is going on right now, um, and from the last ship station scare at the square that we got, I gotta say is it's, I was actually pretty impressed with that, with that, with the last stage for that. It's like, out of all of them, that's like the most unique, and I like what they did for it. And I did not want to fly right there. Just, yeah. And, like, I will dare say also that it's probably my favorite shifty gear, um, geez, shifty gear stage in the entire game from that alone, because, like I said before, it's pretty unique. That being said, however, um, we're finally done with this level. Um, I, I, I obviously made it pretty easy since I kind of knew what I was doing. Since I played this level a lot back in Mario Maker 1. So, there's that. So, I guess if you want to have, if you want to kind of have a little guide for this level, here you go. That being said, um, we're gonna go to my next stage right here, Dry Swamp, which. When I first uploaded it, and thanks for the notification, freaking laptop. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have just, uh, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, um, this level will end up being kind of popular at first. And just, yeah. Uh, pretty much this level right here involves the dry bone shell, and I fell for the obvious trap right there. Lovely. <laughs> um, this level, I I love speedrunning this level since I don't know. It's like it's just it's just a fun level to speedrun. Since I don't know, it's like I can't really I like I can't really explain it, but yeah. Um, there's a hidden P switch, in the, um, right where the question mark block is. In fact, it's like right next to it. If you go to it, and geez, you can go to it, you can obviously. Jeez, I'm like, I'm like, I'm trying to get up there, but. Jeez. Um, if you hit it, uh, you hit it without clearing out the coin, the next set of coins over there, you're not gonna be getting it. But if you can, and you, well, since I died right here, I might as well show it. Yeah, 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 you know, it's like, once again, since I died, I'll, I'll show it. Off. Which means I might as well grab this point- this pointless mushroom. And of course I screwed myself in the end. Um, yeah, if you- if you get hit at all with the dry shrimp, well, at least with the dry bone shell, um, yeah, you're just- you're just- you're kind of boned at that point. Pun unintended. Can I just stop getting notifications, please? That'd be kind of nice. Uh, anyways, just clear this out. It... Yeah, I really should have just muted the freaking. Eh, whatever. <laughs> just deal with it, I guess. Oh, this. Is... Oh, this is a normal recording and not a live stream. So there's that. And. I actually can't, I can't get it with this, so... This is kind of, this is kind of awkward. There we go. 
Come on. Come on. I'm not gonna make it in time. Yeah. So yeah, that, that's how you're supposed to get it. Those of you who actually care about the getting all coins in this level. And, thank god. I can normally go over this level just fine, but no, recording curries. I have shit luck. <laughs> now I'm recording myself. And that mean and well not really just because of just like I'm like nervous or anything like that. I've done this for a little while now, up to the point where I'm not really nervous. Well like while playing. It's more of I'm more nervous that I have to talk while playing. <laughs> Which can kind of screw up my concentration. Hence why for most of the live streams I, I do, I'm I, there's points where I'm just straight up quiet and that's just me concentrating on the game. So I can get faster in segments a lot better. So yeah, that literally be whatever I play as a dude. <laughs> so yeah, um... We should have been done with that level, like, ages ago, but no, we're just gonna do it right there. Just end it right there. Um. Anyways, um, moving on to the next level right here. Um, actually, we have quite a bit of time, so you know what? Do a 100 coin joy ride. Um, this level right here, I, I figured... Everybody loved that one purple coin mission back in Battle Rock Galaxy in Super Mario in Mar Super Mario Galaxy One. So you know what? I'm gonna make my own version of that level. Yeah, this is literally what it is. <laughs> I don't know. It's like I had a neat little idea. Idea. I freaking whip with it. <laughs> and to be honest, it's not all that hard. I mean. It's easier than most levels. I can say that much. And just, yeah. I mean, there are points where some of the coins are actually kind of hard to get. Um, that drive one's right there, I guess. Me and an example. But the thing about the nighttime... The night... On uh, the night area for... The nighttime setting for the sky levels is that zero gravity. And if you're playing... If you're doing this for New Super Mario Bros. U... You can literally twirl, you can twirl for forever and not have to worry about anything. But since I got hit right here, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get those points. I'm gonna kill myself right here. <laughs> and let's try that again. Um, anyways. Just grabbing coins. Grabbing coins. It's almost time for him for another task. Shoot them bullets. Hit him now. Because that's just Luigi's luck. Um jeez. Lovely. You know, like, okay, you know what? This this is something I've actually been kind of wondering for a little while. I guess I can bring this up. For... Jeez. For the galaxy, like, music that they... That they used for this game. Uh, this, this is probably just me not, like, having listened to... Mario, uh, some Mario Galaxy soundtrack in a long time, but... I'm not sure if this is actually the Gusty Gal Galaxy theme or not. Because it sounds so familiar to it. Because that's what it reminds me of. But at the exact same time, then I remind myself of the Purple Coin uh, music, which is literally just a little remake of the Ghost of Garden theme. I compare that, and it's just like... Wait, is this actually the same thing? Or not? Because that's one I've been kind of wondering for a while, so... If anybody knows, um, just... That was a comment, I guess. <laughs> I, I would actually like to know. And I'm... And for the record, yes, I am too lazy to look it up myself. Because... Yeah. I don't have the time to do that. 
Anyways, um, the next level I got right here, Skyrun. Um, another coin collecting level. Lovely. It was just like, after a while, I realized that, wait, I don't have a lot of objective levels. Like, I have a lot of just standard levels. Stuff like dry, um, dry swamp, dry pipes, stuff like that, and... I have no clue what the frick my laptop's doing right now. <laughs> Cause like, I look at it and it's just like, oh wait, Nort Security and all that kind of crap. I, I mean, to be honest, um, from the time of this recording, I did get my, my new laptop yesterday. And that was the thing, that was yesterday. And I didn't really get a chance to really set things up. So, there's that. You know, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, if you can hit the Google Show with that block right there, you can get that. And you can also get a piece with piece with right here, which you don't want to use right away. Instead, you're gonna want to save it until this part right here, which I I'm actually gonna hold on to it for a little bit longer since there's another use for the P switch. Since the objective is 50 po is 50 coins, you technically don't need this P switch to beat the level, but it makes life a lot easier. If you can actually get it. But if you hold on to... Oh, so much for that. <laughs> I was gonna say, if you hold on to the P-Switch for a little bit longer, there is a 50 coin that you can get near the end of the level. So, if you if you just don't want to collect any coins and you just want to get, get for the level pretty quick, then you can do that. And also, if you can hit the Koopa... Shell. You can hit this block with the Cooper Shell, there's a mushroom right there that you can also get, so... There's that also. And another thing I should have probably mentioned, and... Yeah! That was a great run. <laughs> god. Oh my god! So good at this game! He's actually able to make Kaizo levels that are... That nobody likes because they're Kaizo levels. Thanks, dude. At least I made it to that. Give a shell at the that time, so I got my mushroom. Yeah. Lovely commentary we got right here. Lovely button buttons that you're probably hearing me push because I kind of have my controller kind of near the mic. Because of the position I'm at, and I missed that. I'm gonna ignore the beast wish this time, because plus again, you don't really need it to beat the level. Singles with those coins, and I just committed suicide. <laughs> I really should have waited, but no, I didn't, and god, um, we're probably gonna be, we're probably gonna be going a little bit over time with this video right here. Since 20, 20 minutes is generally the length that I kind of want to go for for these videos specifically. But because I have, there's one more level I have in mind. And it's more of, I kind of have to do it. Just so, like, like kind of similar to the final trial. It is, a, it is a pretty hard level. And because of that... People might actually need a guide for it, so I'll act as their guide. And I actually got that. Alright then, fine. So yeah. Though actually, I was about, I was about to say, so actually, you know what, I might actually just, I'll probably just save that for, the, for next week. Because I just realized there's a, there's another level that is actually it's actually a pretty good it is a pretty fun level, but it's under loved. It's it's a pretty under an under loved level, unfortunately. And I'll, and I'll admit it's one of my personal favorite levels that I've made. Because because it kind of shocked me how good the execution came out in the end. And also those who are wondering why the the key was there at the beginning. 
just in case you screwed up. Uh, if you didn't get enough coins. Uh, the key's right there, that... In that locked door right there, we'll take you back to the beginning of the level. So you can go back and get any coins that you missed along the way. So that's literally why that's there. That being said, um, we're going to be doing the last level for this video. Um, Swinging Icicle Cave. Which, ice level whips with the Grabber Claws. Since I haven't actually made a Grabber Claw level yet, so I figured... Might as well just do it right here. No, that actually wasn't the original intent for this level. I was actually just gonna have this be like a standard K level, but then I did the grabber fall thing and I was like, you know what? I might as well just stick with it. So I just stuck with it and it just ended up being pretty good. I, of course, fight and fall down the only pit that's down there. Ice physics. They're great, aren't they? But anyways, um, you got the- once again, you got these swing calls right here. Uh, if you fail, there- there is a little, like, safety net right there. And that safety net won't be there for the next part of the level right here. Since now, there are actual bottom cliffs, and if you fail, you straight up die. You don't get saved. But anyways, um, this swing claw section right here is the last part of the level. And I kind of failed at it. Right there. Um, there are, um, uh, pars, par buzzies at the bottom right there. So if you have them to fall, um, they, uh, the chances are you can get saved by them. And that's actually what happened while I was uploading this level. Because I failed one of the jumps right there, but that part, but I managed to land on the pars money. Um, just not the power funny, but the power beetle, which ended up saving me, and I was able to complete the level that that way. So yeah, that was just kind of a unique experience right there. So with this level done, uh, we're gonna end the video right here. So um, once again, um, if you if there are any levels that you guys want me to play, um. Put the um, comment below with the uh, with the ID in the, in the course, and for the next uh, for the next Mario Maker Saturday, I will be playing those levels. Since I actually did get a recommendation for a level, but I never got an ID for it. So that one person that actually did that, um, yeah, you do have to give me an ID for the for the level. Um, with that being said, however, while we're in a dire situation right here, not really, I will see you guys until that time, I guess, actually, no, really, just until then. I don't know how to end these videos anymore. Lovely.